Welcome to this tutorial on Oracle Clinical Navigation. In our last tutorial, we discussed about the process of logging in into the Oracle Clinical application by installing the JInitiator plugin. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about what are the various user interface elements of Oracle Clinical. Let us start by logging in into the Oracle Clinical application using the login applet. Once you click on the connect button, it will validate your username and password against the respective database that you're trying to connect to. Click on connect. Once authenticated, you will be able to log in into the Oracle Clinical application and be, able, and be greeted by the Oracle Clinical user interface. The Oracle Clinical user interface is typically made up of various nodes. These nodes are known as subsystems of Oracle Clinical. It is these subsystems that are used to perform various actions related to the clinical data management processes within the Oracle Clinical application. We'll talk a little bit about the user interface of the Oracle Clinical application and what are its key user interface elements. So up at the top here, the first thing that you see is the Windows title bar. The Windows title bar tells you the name of the user who's logged in, in this case, Ghost Trainer the symbolic username, which is OPS Dollar Trainer, the database the user is logged into, and the date of login. This information is required to be collected in any changes that are made to the data within Oracle Clinical as a part of the log that is maintained within Oracle Clinical, known as Audit Trail. Each and every activity that you do in Oracle Clinical is logged as a part of the Audit Trail, which is a regulatory requirement. The nodes that you see here are known as subsystems, which can be expanded. For example, if I click on the plan subsystem, it expands to show sub nodes known as modules. So a subsystem can be expanded to show modules and some subsystems can be expanded to show modules, which are further divided into sub modules. Here the plan subsystem is broken down into the programs module organization units module, regions module, and so on. Whereas the design subsystem is broken down into the studies module, investigators insights, treatments. The studies module is further broken down into sub modules like easy study design, clinical studies, etc. The modules or the sub modules help in the movement of data between the tables of the Oracle clinical database. But they can't do that unless there's a user interface that allows for viewing the data or adding the data that is ultimately supposed to be added to the database. That is where the use of user interface elements known as forms come in. For example, I can click on the subsystem and expand it to show various modules. And I can click on that module to show a user interface element known as a form. For example, clicking on the programs module opens the maintain programs and projects form. This form allows me to add new programs or therapeutic areas to the Oracle Clinical application or retrieve existing ther therapeutic areas that may be stored within the Oracle Clinical application so far. So from a user interface perspective, at the top we've got the window title bar that stores all the information that will be a part of the audit trail. We've got the inform menu. 